Hi everybody, this is Pulkit Chhabra. In this series, we'll be discussing the round six thirty nine of court forces, div one and div two. Uh, so in this video, we'll be discussing its first problem, that is div two a pieces uh, puzzle pieces. So I'll just read the problem out. The problem says that you are given a special uh, jigsaw puzzle consisting of n and two m identical pieces. Each piece has three tabs and one blank, as we can see, three tabs and one blank. And then it says that the jigsaw puzzle is considered solved if the following conditions hold: uh, one, the pieces are arranged into a grid of n rows and m columns. All right. For any two pieces that share an edge in the grid, a tab of one piece perfectly fits into a blank of the other piece. So basically, if two pieces share an edge, then that shared edge, then that shared edge should be such that. Uh, exactly one of the pieces has blank on that edge and the other one has a tab true rotation and translation of pieces determine if it is possible to solve the jigsaw puzzle by rotation and translation it doesn't mean anything it means that we can uh, put any piece anywhere and we can rotate the pieces okay yeah so there are multiple test cases the value of the test cases can be uh, you know up to The number of test cases can be up to one thousand, and for each test case, we need we can we have two integers n and m, and n and m can be from one to ten raised to the power five. So we have to print yes if it is possible uh, to solve the jigsaw puzzle with a value of n and with a given value of n and m, and no otherwise. So for the example, we can see that it says it is possible for one three, and it has given the solution, and two two also it is possible. It says and. For one thousand, not sorry, not one thousand, uh, hundred, one hundred thousand and one hundred thousand. It is not possible. So uh, let's discuss the solution. Let's uh, you can you can pause the video and give it a try for yourself. It will be a good time to do that. So first things first. If we see, you know, uh, if if the number of rows are one, in as in the case of the first test sample, uh. we can simply keep on adding the you know pieces right we say that uh, 3 cross 1 is possible it means 1 cross 1 and 2 cross 1 is also possible for 4 cross 1 not exactly 4 cross 1 1 cross 4 sorry 1 cross 4 we can just simply do it like this then again add like this if we want 1 cross 5 so it is possible we can add as many number of uh, pieces as we want Similarly, if the number of columns are one, that then also it will be possible, right? What we need to do is just rotate this uh, thing by ninety degree. So, the case where columns number of columns equal to one, it will be possible. Now let's try and check for the you know higher number of uh, rows and columns. We can see if the number of rows and columns are both two, then also it is possible. Uh, an example has been given. How is it possible? now one thing that we need to observe here is that if we increase the number of rows or columns to 3 keeping the number of columns or rows to uh it will not be possible you can try it out you will see that there is no way that you can do it uh, even if if i try for you know uh, adding the pieces to this very figure itself you will see that so let's say if i need to add i'll be adding it like this right but now we can see that this place has two tabs so it is it is not possible for a piece to take this place even if i try to make another example uh, let's say i first draw a 2 cross 2 uh, not sorry 2 uh, not 2 cross 2 2 cross 1 now they'll be sharing an edge so it has to be like this only not exactly like this this has to be tab and exactly one of these three will be uh, you know exactly one of these three will be uh, a blank now for this if i want to put something here i it has to be sure that it has to be blank only right so if it is blank it has to be like this now since we can't really put you know uh, uh a piece here since it has two tabs it means that the blank that was to be present was to be present here so we'll put it like this 
so we see that the only way to make a two cross two is sorry for the bad drawing is the way that has been given in the drawing itself so it is not possible to go beyond two cross two so basically our answer will be yes if either the number of columns are one or number of rows are one or uh, both of them are two right if not it means that uh, at least one of them is uh, greater than two and the other one is you know greater than one so in that case the answer is not going to be possible we'll just try and code it i'll just take the input of n and m i'll just say let's say if n is greater than m swap n comma m by this line i'm just making sure that n is the smaller one the number of rows are less than number of columns now if n equals equals one or n equals equals two and m equals equals two then my answer is going to be yes else is it is going to be no n equal to one means the minimum of these two is one it means uh, at least one of them is one if not then both of them should be two uh, in both of the cases my answer is going to be yes if not my answer is going to be no well, well let's just try and run it and also try and submit it yeah it should be yes no yes okay accepted i hope uh, the solution is clear it was a simple one if there is something unclear you can comment it out down there i'll try and help you out thank you